This year, the prestigious blue flag is flying proudly across 416 Italian beaches. For beach club owner Davide Camorotta, it's recognition of years of hard work. It's as if it is a medal. This work is my life because the beach club has been in my family since forever and this award gives us an important opportunity to restart. A record number of new entries are in Italy's central south, such as Pescara in Abruzzo and Mintorno in Lazio. The flags are awarded by the Foundation for Environmental Education, an independent organization comprising 77 countries worldwide. There are 32 criteria that need to be respected. First of all, water quality, quality of the services, and environmental initiatives such as bike and pedestrian paths. It means attention to the environment, for example, waste management and curating green spaces. It also means educational programs in schools about sustainability. The region of Liguria once again claimed top spot with 32 beaches, followed by Campania with 19 and Tuscany and Puglia with 17. Abruzzo recorded three new entries to have 13 blue flags. The FEE says community cooperation is fundamental. The objective to obtain and retain the blue flag is the responsibility of the whole community, business owners, the council and citizens. The annual awards come as Italy's beaches open for this season and it's hoped the blue flag classifications will help boost the government's campaign to attract tourists. As the COVID infection rate falls, the Prime Minister has declared Italy open to international visitors with a green pass. By mid-June, most regions should be classified as low-risk white zones. Tourists will return and I think in much higher numbers than last year, absolutely. High hopes for a summer that resembles pre-pandemic times. Hermione Kitson, CGTN, Rome.